And the good thing about New Orleans, it's humid. So that's it's always something to celebrate down there, right? Yeah. yeah I not, guess. not humid here yet. No, no. no. And not, not just Then yet. we'll celebrate. Yes, well, it'll be here starting Friday. Well, there that, you go. Is that what we're going to well, celebrate? We'll celebrate no, we Friday not. anyway. Celebrate. <laughs> Friday's always good. That is true. Well, great weather for us here. If you're going to go, maybe you're already down in New Orleans, or you're here, mm -hmm. the weather's great. I'm we're here. We're going to have some right. fantastic weather up ahead. Let's give you the forecast as we get you set for Mardi Gras as we celebrate Fat Tuesday. Hey, no rain to worry about. We're looking at partly cloudy skies. Temperatures coming out of the 60s now. We'll head into the 50s as we get toward later on this evening. Cool is the rule despite the clouds that we have passing through in our area. Well, we put an end to uh, winter 2022 and I want to give you a look back at the temperatures that we saw. The average temperature, you take the high and the low, you divide that by two and you do that for all the days in the month of December, January, and February, you'll get an average of those. The difference from normal was a positive 2.6. Now, I put 2021 in comparison, and look at the difference here, below 2.4, so a big difference. And we all know why 2021 ended colder than normal. It was because of that February deep freeze winter storm that we had from last last February. In Longview, about a three degree difference from 2021. Our average temperature was running about 2.3 degrees warmer than what we should be for the normal in the winter months and for Lufkin. Averaged around 54. That was a change of just over three degrees above where we should be for the winter season. Well, we're looking ahead to spring and we're getting closer and closer. So, a few things to look forward to. We've got the Texas Independence Day. That is tomorrow. And a week from tomorrow is our birthday. KETK, March the 9th, will turn 35. And then, I don't know if everybody's looking forward to this, but daylight saving time. We'll get that extra hour of daylight in the evening. That means we're going to go back to darker early mornings. That'll be on Sunday, March 13th. And the vernal or the spring equinox a week later on Sunday, March the 20th. Things to look forward to as we go into this month. And looking long term, this is going through the entire spring season, March, April, and May. We've got warmer than average temperatures that are expected here in the area. As far as precipitation, we're probably looking at below normal in terms of precipitation, but above normal rainfall. However, the March outlook specifically does bring in a chance for us to see some slightly above normal precipitation. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that. Look at the colorful sunset happening from Longview right now. A really nice picture. These high clouds just continue to give us some great beauty shots. Temperatures are into the mid 60s right now. So a couple of spots holding to low 70s, but those were probably the five o'clock readings. We've got 64 in Henderson, 66 in Rusk, Elkhart at 68, and 67 in Hemphill, Groveton at a temperature of 65. These clouds will continue to pass through overnight tonight, and then as we go into tomorrow, we'll look for these clouds to decrease across the area, and that's going to lead to the return of more sun. Notice how overnight clouds are with us, but starting tomorrow morning, they'll be around and then decrease as we get into the afternoon hours. For tonight, we're down into the 40s. There will be some 30s, though, off to the north and to the north. Northeast. And for tomorrow, if you want to get the kiddos outside, another great day to do so. Our temperatures on their way to the lower 70s. Look at the seven day forecast mid 70s by Thursday. And how about upper 70s as we go toward the weekend? That's going to increase the humidity. We're still looking at some storms Sunday evening into Monday with our next cold front. And temperatures do cool down back to the 50s toward next week. Deep East Texas, similar forecast, upper 70s by Friday. We'll touch the low 80s this weekend. That's good. Thank you, sir.